prepare the required hardware. Connect the power supply and the three-phase wires of the two motors. Connect the AS5600 encoder to the FOC board with a 6-pin DuPont cable. The connection relationship is shown on the left. Connect the ESP32 board to the PC with a USB cable. Turn on the power. 12 volt power supply is used here. Open the code with Arduino. User needs to modify the parameters in the code according to the selected motor. There are corresponding comments in the code. Click Tools, Board, ESP3 to Arduino, ESP3 to Dev Module. Click Tools, Port, then select the corresponding port. Click the Upload button in the upper left corner. Wait for the bottom left corner to display Upload successfully. After that you will see the motor doing auto calibration and enter closed loop mode. Turn one of the motors manually at this time. The other motor will follow suit. The two motors maintain position, torque mutual control at all times. When holding one of the motors, and trying to turn the other. You can feel the resistance. Next, we use an oscilloscope to observe the output signal of the current sensing chip. Get your oscilloscope ready. Solder wires for the current sense port. The picture above is the position of the current sensing port in the schematic diagram and PCB diagram. The position of the port on the board is shown in the figure above. The corresponding relationship between the oscilloscope signal and the port is shown in the figure above. When one of the motors is fixed and the other motor is turned, the change of the current signal of the oscilloscope can be observed. This is the end of the testing example video. Thanks for your watching.